Hello everybody and welcome to Carnarvon Plays Elden Ring. Uh, I actually wasn't going to play this game uh, because I don't have a PS5 and I felt like I couldn't show you guys the best this game has to offer. Uh, but I have a special request from he who is mighty, the Tankwolf, to, uh, to take a look at this game. Uh, so... Okay, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. So this one's for you, Tankhoff. Uh, I will start a new character. Uh, and I'll just kind of show you the, the, the beginning of the game. Uh, so these are the classes. This is the Vagabond, which is like the soldier class from um, like the Dark Souls series. You know, there's always that class that has the armor, like the full armor. That's the, This is as close as that gets. Uh, this is the warrior. This is more of like an agile, like this is like a strength kind of and defense class. Um, this is, um, oh, can I show the stats? There you go. Ba ba ba. So this one's got the highest like health and it's based more about, well, actually it's health is the, like the defense looks like the top one, top uh, stat in this uh, and strength. This one's got more dexterity, uh, so this is like the nimble kind of warrior, and this is the this is an opening class that can dual wield. Hero is probably all strength. Yep, hero is all strength. This is like they got an axe, they do smashing that kind of stuff. Uh, bandit is like the backstabby kind of class that finds uh, items easier because they have arcane. So instead of luck, it's arcane. Arcane affects like certain spells and uh, increases your item drop rate. So that's what the bandit has. Uh, Astrologer is like the mage class, uh, like the intelligence mage class. <clears throat> so they got a lot of uh, magic y spells. They can summon meteors, I think. Uh, the prophet is the faith uh, class, like a priest. Um, they are, same thing, spells, but, uh, these are holy spells, lightning, fire, um, they get, like, con like, uh, not comets, they get, like, heat-seeking, like, weird missile -y things, um, that's all I've seen with them, not, not too much stuff. Samurai is a new class, um, dexterity and 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 stamina and uh you can actually they do a ton of damage because they have a weapon they start out with a katana and the katana in this game just does shit tons of damage i found one in my regular uh game and i've been using it a lot because it's so good uh samurai is probably one of the stronger classes to start out with just because of the amount of damage you can do they also get a bow and a shield that parries and stuff is pretty cool uh prisoner is like the it's like a dexterity mage. Like you can use, you can use dexterity weapons and you can do magic pretty well. Um, but I think you take more of a beating. Uh, oh no, actually. So you can do, that. that's what it is. You have less mind than the actual mage, like less, less of a mana bar, let's say. But you uh, have the dexterity, too, so you can also use weapons. Uh, so that's the prisoner. So I guess if you want to do like a, like a magic warrior, that this would be the class. And if you want to do a faith warrior, like a paladin, it's the confessor. Um, but it's funny, because they're not really... They're less like paladins, and they're more like assassins from the church. Like, they have a, they have a lot of faith, and... Um, the weapons they use are like kind of backstabby. Like they have a spell that makes their footsteps quiet. So they can kind of sneak up things and stab them in the back. It's kind of cool. Uh, I can see this this class, the Confessor, is, is super popular. A lot of people are playing it just because you start out in robes. You're like, you, you look kind of like a dark Jedi, but with, um, you know, with a sword. And then there's the Wretch, which is the same as all the Dark Souls and uh, Demon Souls and all that shit. Uh, where you just basically have nothing. It's like even stats all the way down. You start off at level one. Um, and that's what I'll be playing. I think like when you're first starting a game, 
especially for this game, like not so much in the Dark Souls games. Well, actually, in, in them too. Like if you don't know the game, I think it's kind of fun to have nothing and then everything you find means something, you know? Uh, I, I did this in Dark Souls. I think I did it in... I think I did it in Dark Souls 3 as well, where I started off completely naked, uh, like my first time, so that I could find things that, uh, so like finding things in the world was more interesting, and I did it for my own playthrough, and I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. Type B, let's make a girl. I have a special idea for what kind of wretch I'm going to make, but I guess I'll show you uh, what what you can do. Uh, so these are, um, these are like the different races they give you, uh, you know, so these are all the different looks. They have like kind of like a vampire kind of, or this is a draconian, this is supposed to be a dragon person, but it's just, they just change the color of the, of the character. You can make them like blue, you can make them whatever, this is like a vampire, and this is like an old like witch. Uh, but you can, what you can do is you can go into appearance and you can adjust the color and you make, you can make them any color you want, you know, blue, anything. Uh, the character creator is like a little bit better than Dark Souls 3, uh, but slightly, like you have all the same, um, oops. Uh, all their face and hair. Like, you have all the same hair types as Dark Souls 3, they just look a little bit nicer. Like, there's no, like, really new stuff. Um, it's all from Dark Souls 3, it's just, like, a slightly better, um, for this game. You know, they, they made it look slightly better because it's on PS4 and PS5. So that's all. Alright, so I had an actual idea of, like, what kind of character I would make for this run, and, um, I picked, uh, Isla from Chrono Trigger, the the uh, prehistoric woman from that game. Yeah, so I tried to make her the character creator, and this is as close as I got. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it turns out anime characters, when you try to make them realistic, look like crazy freaks. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the best I can do. <laughs> Let's check out the game. So I'm just gonna, I don't know how long I'm gonna play, maybe for an hour or so. I'll just do like some of the beginning stuff, see how far I can get. And then maybe I'll jump into my character that I've made and just show you some stuff and maybe try like a little boss or something uh, to show you what the game is like. Right, let's check out this awesome opening. Huh. The fallen leaves tell a story. Do they? Is that story just Dark Souls again? So this game... This game keeps saying that they got George R. R. Martin to work on the game, right? It's just a Dark Souls story again. Like, there's not a lot of good writing. The lands between. Like, listen to this. This just sounds like Dark Souls. Like, why did they... Why did they partner with George R.R. Martin? Like, <laughs> like, what's the point? Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. It's doing that shit where they just show you all the bosses. And in right? The night Knives. Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Oh no, you got to stab. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Oh no. The mad taint of their newfound strength. You know what's interesting is it's all just artwork. 
It's badass artwork. There's a snake eating somebody's brain. Interesting. <laughs> Wall shedding. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. It's pretty cool. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished. I like how we're undead. always undead. Yeah. In every game, you're an undead person. It's so weird. <laughs> speaks to us all. I mean, it fits for Carnivore, right? But it's weird that in every game you're you're an undead. I guess that's how they they. Yeah, here here's a boss that you'll fight later. The ever brilliant gold mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. The, the dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othmir. The dude who slept with ears all over him. I, so I was saying, uh, I guess that being undead explains how you can die over and over again. Would again bless. I like how you're always. Um, hold on, I have to try to fix the uh, the audio for myself. Cross the fog to the lands between. I like how you're always no one. You're like some shit. <laughs> Dark, what is it, Dark Souls 3? You're like in a crypt. You're like a, a, a failed ember or some shit like that. It's always like this loser trash is gonna start their loser trash journey <laughs> in the shit world where everybody's miserable. And here we are. Welcome to the world of Elden Ring. The naked, naked world of Elden Ring. Do, 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 do. Look at this. Look at this guy starting as a samurai. Cheater. Tarnishes wizened finger. Wizened figure? Finger? Alright, so what that is, is that's your. Um, oh, yes. Okay, thank you. That is your uh, right on the ground. That is the right on the ground item. So let's do that right at the beginning. Uh, let's write it here. Our first message. And this will, just like in all the other games, this gives you a full heal or a, a decent amount heal. Um, if you... If somebody rates it. So, hold on. This is very important. Fingers, butthole! There we go. That's our first message. <laughs> I bet this message is something like that. No, it's not. This is like one of the default messages. Oh yeah, look. We can jump now. Everything is different. We can jump. It's like a dream. First off, are you ready? Ah, uh, these are all lame. Mine is the best one. That's that's gonna be the message that heals us <laughs> throughout the entire game. Uh, look how people are dead. Look at this. Someone died here. How did it happen? He ran. Did he just run the fuck off? Yep. <laughs> I bet he's doing a speed run. I bet that guy's doing a speed run. What the hell is this on this guy's head? Like I had a bad case of the penis head. I bet these guys are doing speed runs. I bet that's why they're jumping off. Because you this is like the tutorial area. And if you jump off, uh, you just go to the next area. Of, like, of course. Right? Because the game is going to try to kill me, right? 
Because that's what the game always does, is it tries to murder you first off. Alright, so I'm going to put this in two hands. Praise the tree, all the more praise Elden Ring, yes! So that tree is the big thing that gave us back our life. Very cool. And this is a big castle that takes, uh, that I think we learned the name of a little bit later. But anyway, the game is beautiful. Even on PlayStation 4, like, it looks great. I'm sure on PS5 this is, like, unbelievably amazing, but even on PS4 it's good and it runs really well. Uh, the only issue I've seen is, um, the loading times are long. They're really, like, if you die, it takes a, lo a long time. Look at this big wide open area. I wonder what could possibly happen here. Oh look, it's a huge fucking boss. Ugh. Alright. Damn it. Oh, he got me. Alright, I tried. <laughs> fucking. I super tried. I would practice that more, but like you have to, uh, I don't have a shield, which is the first problem. And the second problem is, it's like, you have to remake a character to, to try again. Uh, if you beat that boss, you get some, you get like a weapon and a, and a shield. Which I haven't gone for yet, but I will, I'll try that, um... I'll try to do that legit when I when I play the game uh, again later. For reals. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. Oh, it's like a house. A haunted house. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Oh no! I would never want to violate no Goldens. I don't know what that means. Yeah, the story in this game is so obtuse, just like all the other Dark Souls games. It's like... Impossible. <laughs> I mean, at least what it, from what I've seen so far. Maybe I'm just not far enough in the game to really get what it is. All right, there's our Justin Estes flask. And there's our magic Estes flask. Uh, okay. These are all messages. Cave of knowledge. So this is the tutorial right here. Uh, but I have another, I have another very important thing I have to do. Perfect! <laughs> ah, that'll get us some good... <laughs> and the messages, you know what's funny about the messages is even if people hate them, they still heal you. <laughs> so if I go up and say this is a bad message, so like this one, praise the tree, stupid! That person still gets healed. <laughs> uh. Behold, door. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, someone has texted me.
No, no one has texted me. There's a, a new house available that I can't afford. Okay, so this is like the game for real. This is uh, the bonfires. I don't know why they keep making them different things, but this is uh, Grace. So I'm going to touch this Grace. It's just a fucking bonfire. Whatever. Uh, and then you can rest. You can do a, you can do a lot of stuff eventually, but for now I, I really don't have a lot of uh, not a lot of stuff I can do. Here's two imps getting busy. Uh, so if you bring some of those keys, those sword stone keys, to these imps that are humping each other, you can uh, go do a dungeon here, right at the beginning of the game, which I haven't done. This is the multiplayer items. Maybe I'll try some multiplayer. My message was appraised! <laughs> one of those two messages that I left already is getting... Let's see. Which one? Offer. <laughs> see? I will now have an infinite healing. <laughs> I know how to play these games. I know I know what I'm doing. I might have lost to that boss at the beginning. But I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, here we go. This is it. Welcome to the world. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at... Look at it. Look how fucking cool this is. You know how in Dark Souls, like, you can't... Like, you could see, like, like out into the world like this. But in this game, it's like, I can go there. Like, I can go over there. I can go to the tower. I can go to that tower over there. Like, I can, I can go to all these places. Look at this shit. You can go down there. Like, I've been to that island. <laughs> it's so cool. This game is really special, and you can see everybody's like playing it and enjoying it. Um, it's a it's a pretty cool game. It's hard as fuck. So you can hunt animals, and if you don't toss them off ledges, forty thousand miles down, uh, you can get little crafting items from them, and you can make consumable stuff. So like, if I kill this rabbit. And I get bones, like, I can make throwing knives out of these bones. Uh, which is pretty cool. Alright, so now, because I'm naked... Yeah, so you can use these berries to make stuff. Uh, because I'm naked, the first order of business is to get items and weapons. Uh, so let's do that. Here's a grace thing. I can touch this. Uh. Yes, thank you. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Here's my guy that's probably going to send me in the wrong direction. And there's a boss. There's a boss right there, just riding a horse, just headed straight towards me. <laughs> Without the strength, you are fated. Yeah, this is the guy who's like, oh, you're a piece of shit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, this is the multiplayer thing. This activates multiplayer in the area. Let's... Should we try it? Let's try multiplayer. Let's try multiplayering this boss. Uh, I've not... Oops. Okay, thank you. Multiplayer. Uh, with the multiplayer mode, you can use various items to request group password. Alright, uh, so in this game, there's the multiplayer password. God damn it. Alright, so there's a multiplayer password. This is like if you and me want to play um, together by ourselves. You can set this, and then we can meet each other more easily. Uh, in every game, this gets easier and easier to see each other. But uh, it's still not just like, hey, join my game, and then we just go forever. It's still like, one's a ghost, one's real. That kind of shit. Uh, group password. This is you can see certain phantoms and summon signs easier. Uh, so what I'm doing is I am going to put in C 
Seekers. Uh, this is Vati Vidya's uh, group uh, with a lot of helpful... Uh, there are a lot of people in this group and you get a lot of bonuses from being in this group. And there's also... Oops. There's also... Oops. Capitals. I think that's right. This is the wikis group. Uh, now with these, whenever these people, there's a lot of people in these groups. And whenever people accomplish anything in the game, uh, you get little buffs. I don't know exactly what the buffs do because this game is so fucking obtuse. Uh, but they're there. And uh, maybe they'll help. Uh, send a cooperative summon sign to several nearby players. Uh, if you're summoned, you will be transported to the summoning. Okay. You can leave a gold summon to play cooperative multiplayer. The sign will appear in other players' worlds to allow them to summon you. Huh. Oh, uh, I can only... Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I wonder... See, I, I haven't tried multiplayer yet. I don't know... Well, let's, let's try leaving a sign. I don't know if I use this. Send a co-op sign to summoning pools. Sure? Huh. Create some of I don't... I have no idea. I have no idea how that works. Maybe we'll see. Alright, let's start. Let's start some shit. What's up, dickweed? Imagine if I do it! Alright. Step one to fighting this man. Get away. Get away from him. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's bullshit it. Let us bullshit it. Hup, hup. Okay. Hup, nope, sorry. Okay. Now. Now, where his numbers count for shit. I just did eight damage. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm alive. Come on, asshole. Oh, no. Come on. No. No. Ah. <laughs> no. Come here, give me your stupid head. <laughs> ah. Nope. Ah. Nope. Alright, all on, all on. Let's wait for stamina. Let's wait for stamina. I am the true warrior here. You fucker. <laughs> oh, fuck, he got me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would have been funny if I did it. I actually, in my original game, I, I totally, I did it. <laughs> it took a while. I just bashed his head in. <laughs> he dropped a weapon that I won't be able to use <laughs> forever. Uh, uh, but it's funny to be a dick. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, yeah, okay. It's the same. When you die, it's the same deal. Uh, you lose all your souls. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> mm. 
can kill these goats. You get stuff for crafting. I have no idea what room fragments do. They're all over the place. One thing about the goats, too, is when you scare them, they have a very interesting defense mechanism. <laughs> they just sonic the hedgehog the fuck out of there. I don't know why it's like that, but it is like that. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's get some let's get some items. Let's get some gear. Oh look, it's Santa Claus. Smithing stone. You can use the smithing state. Uh, it's, uh, actually, let's see. I just need two thirty souls, and I could actually upgrade this thing. What's up, Santa? I can see it, but I can also not? see it. Then why not purchase it? I am Carly. Ba 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 ba. Okay. So this is like some beginning stuff you can get. You can get a torch, uh, crafting kit, so that you can make stuff uh, from the items you find. These are like recipes for crafting. This is like your basic stuff, and this is like just an armor set uh, that you can get right off the bat. Uh, which I really don't have any money for, so. Big whoop. Here's another uh, bonfire. Uh, you can actually teleport to any of these. So any of them that you find, you can teleport to them. You just have to... You don't even have to sit at them. You just pick your map, open your map, and you can just go to any one of them. So that's pretty cool. The game's got a lot of, like... Um, a lot of, uh, what are those called? Um, ease of use changes? Ease of, uh, player friendly like changes? Oh, here we go. So someone in this group did something and now I get like a buff that increases my items that I find. Which is great because this person will drop items if I bash his skull in. Nothing. Alright. So let's hunt some of these, uh... Let's hunt some of these guys. You actually got a sneaking mode in this. There's some gold... Shit. Actual shit. <laughs> uh, which you can use to make poison bombs. Let's try sneak it up on these people. Maybe we can get an item or two. Hello! attacks. Okay, cool. Throwing knives. I will take it. I just want an item. Hello. I just want all your gear. Pillage corpse. Ah, uh, it's a crossbow bolt. I don't have a crossbow. Hello. Bam. Ba boom. All right, so we learned something there. Is uh, you know what's better than backstabbing? You do their heavy attack and then you backstab them. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, let's get to actually like exploring this game and getting stuff. I was gonna hunt more soldiers, but so this is a bunch of these little caves. Each one of them has like a save point in the beginning. There's some wolves in here. This is the summoning pool. I don't think anybody's actually summoning anybody. Some wolves. Let's see. These wolves are actually pretty tough because they... Oh! Um, the item that I started out with. The item that I picked to start out with. I can actually use it now. So you rest here. Uh, let's make it nighttime because stuff happens at night that is good for us. 
Uh, and then let us go to flasks, add charge to flask. I can use the golden seed to add a charge to my flask. I'm going to change it to just healing because I don't use magic. And now I got five flasks, which is awesome. Uh, that's all I need. Now I can sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. It's a cave with just a bunch of wolves. Uh, now, if I do like this. Oh, this wolf noticed me. Good. Come here, asshole. No, don't tell your friends. Boom! Jump right over his attack. Which is something you have to remember to do. I keep forget Like, when I first started playing, I f would forget constantly. Alright, now let's pull this wolf. Oh! Or just murder him? Also good. Mama wolf? That's for you, Mama wolf. Come on. Boom! Boom! Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Oh, did she kill me? No, she didn't. Now she killed me. God damn it. Fucking Dark Souls. <laughs> and now the loading begins. <laughs> Alright. Pretend that didn't happen. Pretend I'm actually good at this game. No, I only have one of these. <laughs> I like that it just fucking destroys one. Okay, that one's sorry, good. So this game has a new mechanic where if you block, uh, it works way better with the shield. But if you block, and then you counterattack, you do like an extra strong attack move. So that's pretty cool. This wolf is aware that I'm here. I don't want to get hit because I don't have a shield. Oh my god, you little bastard. Oh my god. Come up here, you shit. Let's jump on Mama Wolf's head. Shit. Whoop. She's probably gonna bring more. Ah. Whoop. Curse, uh, cursed stamina. <laughs> I like these soul games so much, but I hate stamina. I hate stamina with a with a raging passion. I hate it. So the wolves ate these soldiers. Let's see if there's any. Ah! Back to sleep. Uh oh. <laughs> bash, bash. Okay. Glowstone, I don't know what that does. Golden Rune, that's basically a soul item. These guys make uh, the silver fireflies help you make stuff. Okay. Very good. And yes, and there's a boss here. I don't know how I'm going to do. I don't think I fought this guy naked last time. But you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hello, sir. This is just straight up a Bloodborne guy. Boom. Bo oh. <sighs> so the thing about this guy is he's got a lot of, like, sweeping attacks. And you can just kind of go under them. Or over them. And then you can stun him like that. Bring him down. Let's go for the big bash. Ah! 
Oh shit. I did not expect to jump forward. I'm convinced this boss is just to teach you that you can jump. This guy was kicking my ass in and out the first time I fought him. And then I was like, oh, like jumping. Like I just, I just remembered it, that it existed. And as soon as I remembered I could jump, I destroyed him just like that. Uh, so I, I think that boss is literally just here to be like, Yo, you can jump in this game, like, <laughs> do it. Oh, this is a cool wolf character. I actually, I met that guy. He's very chill. He's just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and he didn't try to murder me or anything. All right, so these guys are back. Now let's, let's use what we learned. Bash him and then backstab him. <laughs> Give me a weapon. You piece of shit. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. There we go. Nothing? Nothing. Curses. Ah, oh, see, someone in the group did something. Now I get a buff. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just joined those groups. Uh, it's just like they just feed you little buffs. I don't know what the buffs do, but they must do something, right? So, all right, let's see. Maybe we can get something from this area. <laughs> Boom! Kersmoosh! Damn it. I'm not getting anything. <laughs> so I like the sneaking a lot. That's pretty cool. Definitely increases the amount of backstabs you can do. There's a guy in the bushes there. Let's sneak up on this guy. Boom! Yep. Oh, shit. Time that wrong. Bop. Oh, no! Those jumping attacks, they have a higher chance of, like, knocking the shield away. God dang it, they keep giving me crossbow bolts. Okay, I didn't drop anything. Let's see if I can go around this guy. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Hello. Lamb. Right up here. <laughs> so these big carriages, you'll find them all throughout the uh, the land. Some will be moving, some will be parked like this. They always have something in a treasure chest in the back, and it's always something like really good. Um, yeah, I get I get a lot of like good stuff from those. Can I use that that great sword? No, I need 16 strength. Well, fooey. Uh, actually, hold on. If I touch this grace. Actually, I don't want to sit because I'll undo all the people I killed. So let's see if I can clear this camp out. And then I will level up. Or I will die. And this will all be for nothing. 
Uh, do I have any throwing weapons? Because that would make this easier. No, I do not. Great. I don't, there's a guy... There's a guy walking back and forth here. That guy. See that horn he's got? That's an alarm. So if he sees me, he'll blow that horn. And the second it makes a noise, every soldier here will come and kill me. <laughs> that guy's a, like a tougher one. So I want to see if I can get this guy with the horn. I think there's another soldier somewhere around here. This guy's by himself. Let's go for it. Ooh. Bam. No, okay, good. Oh, straight sword. Is it better? Uh, 115. Yes, it is better. So now, um, well, let me show you how this works. So in uh, this game, it's a little bit of like Dark Souls 3, the way it works. Uh, you get R1, which is your fast normal attacks, like they always are. If you're not in combat, you don't use stamina. So if you're not in combat, you can just run everywhere uh, because you're not in combat. I like that a lot. Like, thank you, game, for making me not have to use stamina when I'm, when I'm not in combat. Uh, okay, so you get R1 basic attacks, you got your R2 attacks, which is your heavy attack, you got your hold R2, which is your big heavy, if you hit them with a big heavy, they're more likely to stumble, and you can get like the big hit, uh, and then you have L2, or you have L1, which is to, L1 is to use your left hand, or if you're dual wielding, uh, you can block with L1, uh, and then you can hit L2, and that uses the weapon's special ability. Now, with the long sword, you get, like, this... This, like, uh... I think this is a guard break. And you see it uses my magic. So it's just like Dark Souls 3. Uh, there's a guard break, and then there's... Um, I think this is, a Like, a stagger move. This makes them stagger, and the other one makes them... Like, knocks their shield away. So that's pretty cool. The club that I was using has a... Actually, I can equip both. Actually, I can even I can even do wield them. I think. Yeah, that's how this is done. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, the 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 um, the club. I don't know if I could change. It. I think if the club's in the left hand, I can't go to dual wielding it. I can just use it as like a left hand thing. All right, so let's do this. All right, the club in the left hand, its special ability is you roar and you get like a, a powered up, you get more attack power and you get a powered up uh, R2 move, which I'll show you. This is another one of those things. Oop. This is another one of those things that always has a good item. This soldier is the more dangerous of the two because he's got a shield. Let's break all of his bones. How? Of course, I'm invincible when I. Well, ooh, 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 ooh. Dual wield, please. Okay. Dual wielding is a little different. It's not just triangle anymore. Woo. There we go. Broke his stance. I'm a little dis disappointed that they did that they're just using the same um, critical attacks from like the Dark Souls series. Uh, they remade Demon Souls, and in that game, they um, made a bunch of really cool critical attacks, and they just didn't keep them. Oh, the Flail, that's cool. This is a new weapon. I don't think I can use it. I think it's it requires agility. Yeah, 
Dex uh, dexterity. But it's a, you know, it's like a ball. Uh, ball on a chain. I, I can show you that later. Uh, I'll go to my character after a little bit. And I will... Um, I want to fight the strong guy, but I don't want to fight him with all his friends. Let's see if I can sneak around and kill that guy. So it'll be just me and the strong man. Oh, good. He saw me, actually. Yoo-hoo! Over here! <laughs> and that is how you pull a mob. There you go. Light and quick. Just slashy, slashy, slash, slash. Uh, this guy's got a dog with him. The dog interrupted me. This could be getting very bad very quickly. Whoop. Ah. Run! <laughs> no! Okay, good. This hammer that this guy uses? That is bad news. Out of healing. I need my, my awesome message to heal me. <laughs> my awesome and very useful message. Oh, this dog sees me. Hello, doggy. Hello. Come on. Does it see me or... No, just gave up. Okay. I'll take it. Don't mind me! <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can actually do this. Whoa! Yeah, don't don't try to stand on top of those kinds of things. They'll totally they'll totally get you. Okay. Oh shit! Okay. That was I didn't expect the range. Ah! He can do my move! And he totally did it. This is not looking good. Oh, you know what I can do? I can try kicking. No, I can't. God damn it. I can try my square off move. Ah, oh, no. That had a hitbox on it, and I died. Curses. If I... If he didn't see me kill his friend... Oh! Uh, so this is kind of cool. Around the world, there's these statues called Stakes of America. And if you're near one, you can choose to revive at that instead of at the last bonfire that you touched. So I'll do that. You know what sucks is you can't... Um, when you're barehanded, in the old games you used to be able to parry... Uh, in this game, you do a kick instead. You don't have, you don't, you can't parry with your bare hands, which is a shame. Also, the parries in this game are super difficult. I think because they added that that block counterattack move, the uh, they made the parries like really, really hard to do, uh, which sucks. But whatever. And this is like my uh, my blood stain. I think it's called like a sight. Uh, it's lost runes. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's level up a little bit, <laughs> and I think we'll actually we'll get another uh, part of the game if I sit here. I think. Yes. Just sitting on the door, just sitting in my diaper, just completely naked. <laughs> oh, 
Hello, possible spirit. Traveler <clears throat> from beyond the fog. I am Melina. She's like my maiden in black person lady. Oh, her eyes a little messed up. I offer you an accord. Also, her good eye is golden. Cool. Have you heard of the finger maidens? D what? <laughs> She's hitting on me. <laughs> Offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. Mm hmm. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Oh, I should make a fun of the fact that I don't have a girlfriend. I can play Ooh. the role of maiden. Oh, girlfriend, get. Turning wounds into strength to aid you. In your search for the elders. So actually you can't level up until you meet this girl, and you usually meet this girl around this area. To the foot of the earth tree. Sure. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Oh, thank you. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. So now I can level up. I turn your wounds to strength. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Your thoughts. Uh, let's do... Ah, uh, I can't get the full thing. Let's get some more health points, I guess. I was gonna try to go for the big sword, but I don't have enough. This'll work. Do I have a spell? No, I do not. Okay. Very cool, thank you. And then she just kind of disappears. So now I have my spectral steed. And what I can do is I can go over here. Nope. I can go over here and hit the wrong button. Over here on the right, you can switch this. Change this to the spectral seed whistle, which is a ring. And then now when you hold triangle, you'll get this. And then you can quickly call your host. And then you can get off by hitting the... Um, the crouch button, which is actually really annoying because you'll accidentally do that a lot. And then you have your very own ho horse with horns. He reminds me a lot of that, uh, of Yakul from, um, remember that movie, uh, Princess Mononoke? He's got like a double jump. He's super cool. And now that you have your horse, you can do a bunch of horse shit. Skyrim stuff, you can attack off the horse, like that, uh, and you can like, um, what do you call, you can move really fast throughout the level, of course, he's really easy to control, uh, although he, he makes like wide turns, so like if you're trying to like, like if I'm trying to go backwards, the best way is to like jump and then jump to, to make a make a quick turn, so like if I'm running at a boss, nope! <laughs> Jump away. Uh, actually, I think there's a boss down this way at night. So let's go check it out. So you can attack from either side. Uh, if you hit R1, you will attack on the right. If you hit L1, you'll attack from the left. Pretty cool. And then, yeah, when you get rid of a group of enemies, you get your flask back. Oh, look, 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 there's the boss. It's just a freaking ring wraith from uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, this is a silver scarab. If I kill this... Kill this without dying. It will give me a, a skill. 
Uh, Ash of War. I'll show you how to use those later. Hold on, right now. Sh shit has been started. Whoa. So you can see on the mount, I have like this huge, uh, wake hole. My movement speed goes way, way up. And I can just completely outmaneuver people. But the thing is, is I'm kind of vulnerable as well. If they attack me uh, with a certain kind of attack, or if they land too many attacks while I'm on the horse, uh, I can actually be knocked off the horse and I'll be vulnerable for a long time. Let's start shit. What's up? What's up, asshole? <laughs> Whoa. Wow! <laughs> one cl One clap! So when I found this guy the first time, I actually had, um... I had armor. <laughs> he shows up at night, which I didn't notice. So, like, I was there during the day a bunch of times, and then at night I just saw him. I was like, what the fuck is that? And I engaged. And uh, with armor, he's, he's not so bad. And some levels. But with absolutely fucking nothing, he's kind of difficult. So, yeah, during the day he gets replaced with this, like, super normal... Actually, he's, this guy's also kind of hard, but he's a normal enemy. Woo. And these guys totally dropped that sword that he's... Oh, I accidentally hit the fucking dodge button. Let's see, actually, when I'm off my horse, I have more of a chance of knocking this guy off his horse. Like that. And then when you knock them off their horse, you get some extra damage. Ah, uh, what happens to the horse? He just leaves? Interesting. I've never, like, had the horse live through that encounter. Boom. I went right under his sword. That was cool. I did not know you could do that. Come here, horsey. Can I... Can we... Can we be friends? Can I... Can I ride you? No? What happened? You're not into me? <laughs> wow. This horse is like, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I mean, you stupid horse. <laughs> bah. Do I get anything for hurting this horse? Oh, he counts. He counts as, like, part of the group. So if I kill him, I get the, my flask back. So you're actually invincible. Like, when you're getting off the horse and when you're getting on the horse, like that, you're invincible. I haven't, like, made good use of it other than to just get away. But I'm sure, like, if you know what you're doing, you could probably just get on and off the horse, like, whenever there's, like, a big attack heading your way in the open world. And you can basically, you can do, like, some crazy shit with this, this horse. Uh, let's see. You can just, like, Skyrim up, like, these, uh, like, you know, like, walk, like, vertically, vertically up, like, just crazy hills. Someone in my group defeated the shield shard bearer, whoever the fuck that is. Spoiler, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? I don't, I don't know what the, I haven't heard thunder. Oh shit, lightning! What the fuck is that? What's with the lightning? I don't- I have not seen that! You can do a heavy attack off your horse, too. You can kind of drag the sword. Oh. There you go. Defeated. Damn it! I don't need a frozen raisin! I need pants! What the fuck is this? Oh, these... These are lightning flowers? Interesting. Shit! <laughs> that didn't even hurt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know what's causing that. Oh, also, there's these, uh... There's these tornadoes, and when you go into them with your horse, you can just... 
Now I can start shit with this guy. What's up? <laughs> I am starting shit. Ow. So he hit my horse, he didn't hit me, so I didn't get hurt. No. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while to do that. Uh, so what's cool about the tornadoes, too, is... If you jump into them while you're falling down, you don't get hurt. Otherwise, if I just jump off, the horse does take damage from falling like that. I don't know what the hell is going on with this lightning. That's really weird. Uh, these wolves, what are you guys doing? Just running randomly? Interesting. Sometimes, like, when you're running through the world, you'll see stuff like, um... Like, you'll see a pack of wolves, like, attacking a bear. Or, um... You'll see, uh, like, goblins, like, a group of goblin things, like, attacking a group of soldiers. It's kind of cool. These things point to, um... Drop my stupid horse. Uh, these things point to dungeons. So I don't think I actually even found this one. So this one's telling me to go down this way, and there's a dungeon down there. Which, uh, yeah, I don't think I did this one in my regular game. Oh, uh, let me show you one other thing. So if I go back here... So if I go back here... I get on my horse. Let's see if I can do this real quick. I'm gonna piss them off on purpose, just to show you how this works. See this guy? Pulls out his horn. Now they all know I'm here. Alright, so I just picked up a map. So watch, 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 watch how they all fucking look at all of them. <laughs> Fuck all y'all! And actually, the, the guys with the shields and the spears will take defensive positions. So if I try to run through, they'll try to knock me off the horse. So I can't just like run through. The guys with swords, though, they're not built for taking on horses, so they're a little bit more, like, uh, vulnerable. It's pretty cool. You can also, like, when you do your heavy attack, you drag the... Whoa. When you do your heavy attack, you drag your weapon, like this, along the ground, and you do a big swing. So, if you... Excuse me? If you drag the weapon through a bunch of guys, you can, like, take a bunch of them out. What's really cool is to have, like, even if you're not good at using a two-handed weapon, uh, you have a two-handed weapon just for your horse. Just so, like, you can, in situations like this, like, um, just have the two-hander and, um, like, take out a bunch of guys on your horse. So that's pretty cool. And as, as usual, like, um, when you, like, if you can't use a two-hander, but you double-hand it, uh, actually. Yeah, see, like this? I can totally use this. Right? So I can't use this like this. I suck, right? But, two-hand it, I can totally use it. And now, if I get on my horse, I'm two-handing it, even though it looks like I'm using one hand. And I can totally use it. Oop. Yeah, I keep pushing the, I keep pushing the button by accident. Whoop. Ow. <laughs> Bam! Thank you, sir. One of these guys has glowing eyes. I think it's this one. Yeah, see this guy's got glowing eyes? That means he's gonna drop more, um, basically souls when I kill him. Uh, I'm not gonna fuck with those guys, because those guys will knock me right the fuck off the horse. <laughs> but yeah, this is Elden Ring, man. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool game. Uh, I, I'm 100% sure you would enjoy it a lot. Uh, there's, like, so much stuff all over the place. If you want to, like, just, just be naked and just run around, like, you'll, you'll eventually, like, gear your stuff up with a bunch of random stuff. It's really cool. Uh, if you want to, like, follow a guide and build a certain character, you can do that, too. A lot of information is available online. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool game. Look at these people. Look, I wonder what they're doing. Oh shit! <laughs> I feel confident.
Fuck you, dragon! Look, he's destroying trees and stuff, that's cool. Whack! Oh, I missed. <laughs> so when you're even on the horse, when you're fighting uh, in the open world, like you use stamina. He's gonna, he's gonna put fire all over my face. Stamina sucks. I'm so used to my character with that has like updated stamina. Uh oh. Yep. Fire everywhere. It still hurts, I think. Whack! <laughs> Big stamp. I tried to dodge it. Am I dead? Yeah, I died. Alright, so that's Elden Ring. Uh, maybe I'll come back and show you my character. And uh, we'll try that dragon again with my character. Because I, I don't think I defeated him in my game. But yeah, it's a good game. So while I did all that recording, I had a baked potato in the oven. That fucking, that baked potato got murdered. <laughs> I forgot it was in there. Uh... You know how they say that the skin is the most nutritious part of a baked potato? Uh, there's no nutrition in this baked potato. This baked potato is, is a piece of coal. Yes, my awesome message. Look at this. Look at my amazing messages. All right, so this is the character that I made before. This is uh, the club bash lady, much like a Isla. Um, she started out the same way, but uh, she's a lot different now because of all the stuff I found. Uh, so this is the katana. The samurai starts out with this this weapon, and this weapon is fucking busted bullshit. Uh, this move, this uh, being able to put it in the sheath and then quick draw it destroys things. Let's 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 test it on let's test it on our friend here. Hey you. Hey you. Whoa. Boom. Bam. Look at that! Boom! Dead! Uh, it also messes up bosses. So the quick draw moves for the katana are super awesome. That's really cool. That's another move you can do. Uh, the katana is a great weapon. Um, just all around. Just fucking awesome. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Uh, we can also... I'll show you some... Yeah! I'll show you some summoning. This is another thing you can do. So in certain areas that are have a gravestone next to them see the by unsheath on the left hand side there's like a archway uh, i can summon uh certain spirits these guys on the bottom here to do my bidding and to help me out i'll summon a, a horde of demi humans it's like five of them yeah look at this these are like trolls or uh orcs right and they'll come <laughs> and they'll help me deal with shit Here's some shit. Go get him, guys. I also have this flask that gives me like a buff. You can change like what the flask does. Sorry, I'm kind of, I'm kind, I'm kind of concentrating on this, on this, uh, this uh, situation that I didn't actually <laughs> mean to create. Wow, they actually died. Okay, uh, they are actually really good. It's just armored soldiers, forty at once, uh, are a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, you get a bunch of different summons that all have different properties. Some like poison, some do other things. Uh, it's really cool. I'll rest this at this campsite. 
and uh, pass some time, and, every and everything will be fine. <laughs> um, so you can summon those, like, even during some bosses to help you out. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have some magic. Uh, so basically with this character, this is like an all-around character. I really don't have a plan for her build. I'm just finding stuff, and then I'm saying like, oh, okay, what can I do with this thing I found? So I just do the the buff, the weapons, to make them into lightsabers kind of thing. Uh, I can also heal and cure poison, because uh, I found the other, um, the other type of healing uh, magic that you can do. Uh, let's see some of the weapons I got. Uh, so I, sat, I found like a bunch of these soldier swords. This is a... Ooh, excuse me. This is a uh, Wakizashi, I think it's called. Uh, you can put this in your left hand while you're using a katana. And it counts as the same type of weapon. So when you're holding these two swords, you can use both. Just like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Musashi Morimoto, the famous like sword, sword fighter guy. Who used like two swords, one sword in each hand? Uh, so you can do that. Uh, what's cool too is when you're dual wielding them, you go, you can use the katana's like special attack to to break out some heavy damage if you need to. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. What else we got here? Uh, I got this great sword. Uh, requires 31 strength. I should be able to do this, no problem. If I dual, if I dual uh, wield it, no. Really? What do I have? What's my my strength is 20. That's weird. Why can't I? I need 31. Oh, maybe it's a half. Maybe it's that one point that's actually throwing me off. Maybe it's not double your strength. Maybe it's like your strength plus half. That's probably what it is. So I bet if I, 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 bet if I level up one more point, I could probably use this. Uh, but I have a great sword. This is uh, that sword that uh, I found on Isla uh, a second ago. Now what's cool with this is I actually changed its... Um, so in this game, uh, you get Ash, uh, and Ash is basically just special, special moves. And so I changed this great sword special move to a thrust because it didn't have like a thrust in its normal move set. And what's cool is you can change the special, bleh, the special moves to like anything. Like here's a blood slash that you can change it to. Um... And then you do it for free. Like it doesn't cost like materials or anything. And now I can just do a blood slash. Like I just get this. And I think this does like tremendous amounts of damage. I've never actually used this move. Let's try it. Nope. No phone calls. Okay. Let's try just running up to this guy and just using the blood slash. Hello! Boom! Uh, that's not bad. I have some, oh, I have the buff from the weapon. That guy had fucking destroyed. <laughs> and actually, I would say it's about as much as the katana. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe this isn't, like, the best weapon for it. Wow. The range is ridiculous. The range is way higher than the katana. Look at that. Does it take my health? Yeah, it takes my health. Ah, interesting. Okay, cool. But you can do that kind of thing. Like, you can just change the special moves from weapon to weapon. You have to find them. Oh, my message was appraised, and I heal. Ha <laughs> You have to find them. But, um... Like, once you find them, you can mix and match. 
Uh, you get stuff for the shields too. It's all it's all pretty cool. I just wasted a fucking healing item. Amazing. Uh, okay. So there's that. Uh, I got this. This is this is pretty cool. But I need like crazy arcane. It's like a rusty sword, but I think it has some kind of magic properties. The magic properties won't. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. It's like a fucking. Hold on. That's cool. I like throw it. I bet it goes farther if I actually have the the magic property. I bet it doesn't fly as far because uh, because I don't have the magic. That's really cool. It's cool that they let you see it so that you can be like, oh, I want this. Uh, this is just a, another big heavy sword. You get like a stamp and then you, after you stamp you can like do a follow-up attack. See? Um, let's see, we got a big pointy stabby sword. Really super big one. This was the first one I found and it's humongous. <laughs> uh, uh, you can fight a guy in a portal and get this sword which causes like bleed. So it's like a great sword that also bleeds enemies. Uh, this is a magic katana. I super want to see what this does. But my int is way too low. Um, so this is basically like... Has the moveset of a normal katana but with magic. And like uh, that moveset enhanced by like a lot. Apparently it has like some kind of teleport slash. I didn't, I haven't used it myself, but I heard somebody talking about it. Yeah, I can't do it because I'm dumb. My intellect is too low. I bet if I get it to like almost there, I, I can see like a shitty version of it. And then if I actually get it there, I can, I can see the actual move. Oh, here's a uh, very early in the game. You can get some Darth Maul shit. So that's pretty cool. And if you are a, um, if you're slightly good at using magic, you can just basically just give yourself a lightsaber. <laughs> right? It's pretty cool. And of course it has like some spinning moves as its special ability. I use this a lot um, on this character. It's pretty good, but the damage is a little disappointing. There might be some better ones that you can get later on. Uh, these are just regular axes. So if you hold this down, you can just keep doing this. That's the special ability. Good for breaking shields. Uh, here's the club that I started out with. Uh, this is a, I can't use this one because of my decks. But this is like a mace with like three... Um, three chains on the end, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool, huh? I got that from one of those guys that was riding around, like that, that horseman on the, on the bridge. I found another one he was using that. I got this thing, which is a very, like, Japanese kind of spear. Uh, got a lance. Which is, unsurprisingly, a pretty good weapon for your horse. Uh, got a whip. So you could say, like, there's a lot of cool... Like, it's got a lot of the old Dark Souls stuff. And also a bunch of new stuff. Uh, shields are really nothing special. Just kind of normal shields, except for this one that has spikes on it. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff, and from what I've discovered... Um, I think there's actually, like, a lot more in the game that I just haven't even touched upon. Um, this is, it's huge. Like, every time you think you've seen the whole map, you get to, like, another spot and the map just, like, doubles in size. Uh, I just, I just sat here because I wanted to, um to uh, 
get my stuff back because I'm going to try to kill that dragon that we saw before. Um... So yeah, so every time, like, so, like, the map starts out and it'll just be this area and you think that's, like, the whole map. And then you'll discover this area and the map will just get bigger. And then you discover this area and it gets bigger. And, like, there's stuff here. I can see it. Like, if I stand on the end here, I can see stuff. But, like, I don't know how big this map actually gets. It's almost, it feels like it's, like, five soul games in, in one. Like, that's how big this game is. I don't know for sure, like, if that's what the case is, but it seems that way. It seems freaking huge. Alright. Let us use all our tricks on this, on this dragon now. Let us use all our tricks. Let's get a sniper. Put a sniper right here. Let's get my sword all enchanty. Let's have a drink. I think he, I think the dragon senses that I'm up to no good. <laughs> Alright, let's engage. Watch, he's gonna get sniped. <laughs> oh, that pissed him off. Come on, big guy. Oh, he's going after my sniper. Sniper, come back! Wow. He's got range. Alright, let's see if I can pull his attention away from that guy. Sniper, why are you here in front of him? I think you misunderstand the concept. Oh, did he just... Oh, he wiped me the fuck out. So that that move, that twist, is why I haven't killed him yet. Because it's just... Uh, it just does so much damage. But I gotta... If I recognize it, I can take it. Oh yeah! That is how that is done! Dragonheart! A new Draconic Power is available! Oh, very cool! I can get like a Dragon Power! I did it! Cool! <laughs> so that's, uh, that's Elden Ring! And look, look, look! It's, it's like, it's like a Tank Wolf! It's like a Tank Wolf kind of guy! <laughs> uh, so yeah, this game is really cool! A lot of fun. 
Um, you would definitely, if you played this game, your wife wouldn't see you for a very long time. <laughs> so, um, I definitely recommend. It's a cool game. See you later.